Like a Friday night on the weekend I feel blessed Hey guys, welcome back to my channel. My name is Kayla. If you're new, I film hygiene, fragrance, and lifestyle related videos. So if that's something you're into, make sure you like, comment, and subscribe. So in today's video, I want to talk about my current favorite things. And this is going to include experiences, TV shows, beauty products, body care products. If you want to hear about what I am currently loving right now, then just keep on watching. So I do want to talk about like my favorite experiences that I am currently experiencing. It is fall right now and it is October, it is about to be November. Halloween is in a few days and if you guys know that it's one of my favorite holidays. So I am a person that I like fall but I hate cold weather. I hate when the weather switches over and if you watch me you know I complain every single time it's cold outside. I hate it. I am just such a Scrooge when it comes to being cold. You know I like Christmas but Christmas is not my favorite. I don't really care for all the Christmas festivities. I know that's kind of like controversial, but I'm not really that type of girl. Like I like baking the cookies. I do like making hot chocolate and things like that. But as far as what I'm doing right now, I have been enjoying these haunted houses. I've been enjoying, you know, I really enjoyed going to Halloween Horror Nights for my birthday. It was something very fun for me and my family to do because we've been wanting to do that for so long. Um, over the weekend, I went to a haunted hayride and I hope to go to a pumpkin patch as well pretty soon. But I have decided to just embrace these seasons and just do fun things within these seasons that I don't enjoy as much as the summer so of course like I said I do enjoy fall of course because I'm a fall baby fall is just spooky and fun and cozy but I've decided to just go ahead and curate the things that I do and just go with the flow enjoy the things I can't change and just have fun instead of being upset that it's freezing outside like I'll just find something else to do I'll find some hot chocolate I'll put a log in the fireplace I'll watch a movie you know I've just been trying to get way more into the spirit of festivities and things around me and just really enjoying time with my family and my daughter and just creating memories so that's definitely what I've been trying to do and I have just been enjoying so much watching movies drinking my hot chocolate cooking a good hot meal eating out less and cooking more looking up new recipes and things like that another thing i've really been enjoying here lately is finding a new series to watch on tv because i am in the house a little bit more even though like i said i have been going out and enjoying myself outside i still have been in the house a little bit more and i'm getting sleepy a little bit earlier because this is that time of year that it gets dark much earlier <laughs> so i've been enjoying some television so if you are a halloween fan let me know did you guys enjoy halloween ends that is the michael myers movie that they recently came out with i actually watched it at home on peacock which I was really enjoying because I was able to watch it in the comforts of my own home, eating my popcorn, drinking my hot chocolate. I actually thought the movie was pretty okay. I thought it was pretty okay. I won't spoil it if you haven't seen it, but I thought it was okay. And something else that I binge watched was The Watcher, and that is on Netflix. And that movie, well, that series was better than I thought it was going to be. It was really interesting, and I feel like I was just kind of confused at the end. Like I was watching some type of Jordan Peele movie because you know whenever you watch his movies you're confused at the end like you have to come up with all these fan theories you might get on YouTube to figure out what was going on but it was all in all a pretty good show so definitely if you guys have not watched The Watcher and you like kind of like a thriller slash whodunit type of thing it's not bloody or anything like that so if you don't like gore it's not that type of party it's just more of like a a little bit of a psychological kind of funny kind of crazy quirky type of show and it was very interesting to me it's only seven episodes so it was very easy to just go ahead and binge in one sitting 
definitely recommend that now we're gonna hop into the products that I have been enjoying I'm gonna go ahead and start out with the makeup products that I have been enjoying so this foundation I actually got a couple of weeks ago and this is the born this way matte foundation and this is from Too Faced please ignore that makeup stain up there but I have been enjoying this and also please ignore my nails I need to fill in I have not had time to go but I actually been enjoying this because it is not something that I feel like makes me an oil slick. Usually when I switch foundations from my Maybelline Pro Matte foundation, they really don't work out for me, but this has been seeming to hold up pretty nicely. Like it's not the maddest, but it's also not something that I feel like I just look crazy in a couple of hours. Like I can blot my face and I'm okay. I don't think anything is gonna ever keep me completely matte. I think the type of skin I have, I'm just an oily girl, but this has been okay. And I've been really enjoying the coverage of this and it's just been really nice. So I did actually pick this up from Ulta. This was a pretty penny. I'm not the type of person to spend that much money on foundation, but I wanted to get some foundation or some makeup that I felt good about. I just wanted to splurge a little bit and treat myself because I don't really treat myself in the makeup department at all. So I was really happy to finally get like, you know, a nice foundation. So next is this NYX lip gloss and I'm actually wearing this right now. And I've been loving this so, so much. This is in the shade Fortune Cookie. I did also pick this up from Ulta as well. So I used to see a lot of girls talk about this shade and I think NYX for a while actually discontinued this. I was sad because I wanted to try it out but I love putting a brown lip lighter on and then putting this on top. This gives you just that just perfect nude in the middle type of look and then if you wanted to go over with some clear gloss and just add a little extra shine to that it is amazing i love that gloss i feel like that's like my signature lip right now and then they also have this lip liner called line loud and i'm going to stock up on some more of those because that is the most velvety smooth lip liner i have ever used it goes on so smoothly even though it is a pencil that you need to sharpen it, I feel like it's better than any of their other lip liners I have tried before and I do love a good NYX lip liner but the line loud in particular that one is such a velvety smooth type of lip liner I don't know where mine is right now but that's also one of my favorite makeup items to use right now I have been just hooked on a brown liner in a nude gloss and that is just like my fall signature look right now so definitely if you like that type of vibe try those two out another makeup item i have been really enjoying is this Too faced hangover rx three in one so this is like a setting spray but it's also a replenishing primer and setting spray and this is silicone free alcohol free and oil free so i love the way that this mist over my face so this actually mist better than the morphe mist spray that i recently purchased it's like a mist primer and i really did enjoy that one before but this one is not spraying out like the other ones i've had before because the other ones had like a really fine mist but this one seems to get a little clogged and i'm not sure why but this even though this is a sprayer it has a very fine spray and i feel like it evenly coats my face and i actually picked this up from tj maxx for about 15 dollars i was gonna pass it up but if you guys know too face they are pretty expensive so for me to find that in tj maxx for 15 dollars i felt like let me go ahead and pick this up because i will probably not see this again for a long time and i'm glad i did because i have not seen any more of these in that store this is a pretty good primer and if you are not able to find this in a discount store i feel like it's still worth it picking it up from ulta or i'm not sure if they sell in the sephora but i know that it is in ulta hangover rx three in one spray is a definite yes for me so another recent makeup pickup that i have so this is the revolution powder and this is in the shade banana deep so i have been wanting a true banana powder and this is like a darker banana powder because i love setting my concealer with a light powder i love like 
the under eye look that's that's like kind of bright and I feel like this really goes on my skin tone very nicely so the only thing that I dislike about this is that the top is little I usually like to pour my powder in a top but this one is just not cohesive for that it's not conducive for that at all so I had to pour this in something else and then use it but other than that minor flaw I really like this powder I feel like it's easy to wipe off all you have to do is just go in a circle and get it off your face it doesn't like stick unless you use a whole lot I am a person that uses a lot of powder so I have to be careful but for the most part this is pretty easy to blend in and wipe off so it doesn't look blotchy on your face and another way to combat that is when you are wiping it off make sure you're using like some finishing powder to dust it away and then once you spray your setting powder everything should melt into your face and look nice and cohesive throughout your look but this banana powder I've been really enjoying it other makeup item I have been really loving so this is kind of like my fall makeup palette that I really enjoy using so this is from dose of colors and this is the sassy sienna's palette and this one is an older palette that I still have from a boxycharm most of my makeup palettes did come from boxycharm because they sent so many to me when I had that subscription but here is what the colors look like so this is just like the perfect fall palette I love these mattes I feel like you can create such a cute quick fall eye look with these colors right here like you do not need another palette if you don't want to use another palette like you can make your you can go in your crease you can put your outer darker color you can put your lid color and you're good to go i'm all about a quick and easy eyeshadow look i do love intricate eyeshadow looks but i am all about using two shades when i don't have to do too much i like using two different eyeshadows and going on about my day still looking cute pop some lashes on and you can't tell that it took me five seconds to do my eyes i love it that is my go-to fall palette soon i feel like i'm gonna have to get rid of it because i don't like throwing makeup away i will keep makeup for a long time and i want to get out of that but it's just so hard because i feel like i'm wasting money <laughs> if i haven't hit pan or if i still have some shades i haven't even used but i need to get out that mindset anyway this is an opv beauty london born to shine blush palette this is another palette that i got from boxycharm so this is a blush palette i absolutely love this i have not been using any other blush except for in my perfector face palette that i do have but besides that this is one of my favorite blush palettes because i like to mix like two at a time sometimes or if i don't want to put on a highlighter if i don't you know i'm trying to do something quick i can use one of these shimmery blushes and it'll work as a blush and a highlighter at the same time i just highlight my cheekbones with the blush and just going about my day like when i'm doing everyday makeup looks i don't have time to be doing all that extra stuff i just want to get cute really fast and go out the door just look presentable if i even feel like putting on my makeup at all in the first place but really love this blush palette so something else that i have been really loving here lately is hello kitty i've got back into my hello kitty yes i am a grown 32 year old that loves cartoon characters I, I sure do and i don't care i'm not ashamed but these little hand creams i need to stop collecting them i need to stop because i don't need any more hand creams i do not i do not but every time i go to marshall's or tj maxx it's like they have new ones in there. I'm like, I have to get it. I have to. So these are actually three new ones that I recently picked up. I actually did a whole haul, but the footage was corrupted, as I told you guys, in my community tab. So unfortunately, this was one of the only things that I didn't take out the packaging yet. So we have the Gudetama, which is a peach scent. We have Chocolat, which is cocoa butter. And then we have, have my Melody, and she is strawberry cake. So these are so freaking cute and i took the my melody one out and she actually looks different than the other hand creams that i have the other hand creams that i have are like a little mini lotion but this one just has like a different top to it and i wasn't expecting that but this was so cute and it was also a little bit thicker than the other hand creams i have so while these are not like thick Nivea type of hand creams and they're also not Bath and Body Works consistency either they're good enough to moisturize my hands with they're nothing that I would feel like you know I would rave over and tell you guys that you need to go get it but I just have been liking these because they're so darn cute and that's just a favorite thing of mine right now and I need to chill on the hand creams but 
it is what it is. <laughs> so a body care item I have been really enjoying. This is the Dial Antibacterial Bar Soap. So I told you guys about these before. I was using these before and I did run out of my pack. So I went ahead and picked up a three pack from CVS. This is the gold bar and I really feel like this um, definitely helps. Like if you are out all day, I really love to use a antibacterial bar soap. This helps with your underarms. It helps with your butt. I would not use it on my other downstairs area but I feel like anything I need to combat bacteria or odor this is a go-to also if you are a parent of a teenager this definitely helps with your teenagers going through puberty as well because you know their hormones are changing they have a lot of bodily changes and this is definitely a holy grail if you are a parent or if you are a teenager watching my channel definitely try this out it will definitely you know help you out I just will not put this everywhere but this is also a soap that I feel like is drying so if you are sensitive to becoming dry I would just stick to using this under my underarms and just leaving it at that but if you do want to use this all over your body just make sure you moisturize pretty good afterwards because this is like a stripping type of soap but I do still really enjoy it so this needs no introduction and you guys know how I feel about this and this is my ancient cosmetics caramel butterscotch body oil so this right here I have been loving this so much I just feel like I just put this ish on everything like Frank's hot sauce like this is how this is the dent that I put in it and I'm really surprised that it's not a bigger dent but I have been using the crap out of this this is just like your nice caramel warm sweet butterscotch scent it's so amazing and like I said this came from Ancient Cosmetics which is a family owned black owned business and they hand make everything everything has clean ingredients that is why the shelf life on some of their products are shorter because they don't use like typical preservatives in their products but this smells amazing I love it and so far like I said before a lot of people that have purchased that because of me have not been disappointed which I'm happy about because I hate when I suggest something and people don't like it but I know it's not going to be 100% all the time but that's going to be a current favor for a minute like that's going to be a, a lifelong favor because I love that scent so so much it is so delicious so a surprising current favorite to me and this is it comes as a surprise because I was really kind of paying it dust after I picked it up like honestly I wasn't picking it up like that and I wasn't using it like that and recently I've been trying to use more of my products like something that I've gotten you know a minute ago I've been wanting to use my products and pick them up but this is the native tie-dye vanilla cupcake by <laughs> I just already said native <laughs> But yeah, tie-dye vanilla cupcake. For some reason, this has been smelling so good to me lately. It has been just like really cakey and sweet. I've been loving this in the shower. I don't know what has happened and what made me just enjoy this much more than before. But lately, I haven't been just picking this up. I've just been wanting to use it. I've just been throwing it in any routine and just having a ball in the shower. This has just been amazing. Another thing that I've really been liking in the shower is using my washcloth. And I think that's because my loofah has, it's just like a hard loofah. It's like a, it's very well made. It's a very well made loofah, but it never softened up. So even after I do my base clean, I usually switch over to my loofah, but later Lately, I've been just using my washcloth again like from my shower gels and everything it's just been feeling really good to have my washcloth and <laughs> I don't know like it's really weird I'm really like a I was a loofah girl but I think that loofah that I have is just something that has just making me revert back to my washcloth and I'm no okay, I'm okay with that I enjoy my washcloth I feel like I'm really probably getting more clean but even though I'm still not gonna hate on any loofahs because I love loofahs for you know how they suds up and everything but I just been enjoying my washcloth I don't know so next a perfume I have been really enjoying that I actually picked up not that long ago so this is fresh cream and warm cashmere and this is from the brand philosophy so this is a nice warm caramelly cashmere vanilla scent and look at that dent I have put in this within the last few weeks like can you believe that I just got this perfume 
like it's so good so this is one that I picked up from the 21 days of beauty from Ulta I've been seeing so many people talk about this scent and I was like let me just go ahead and finally pick it up and I got it for 20 bucks which was a great price and when I first sprayed this on I was disappointed because this does have like a top citrus note I don't really know why the top note is citrus and I was like man I was I was led astray I was led astray but I let this dry down and I kept smelling a whiff of something sweet warm and good and I realized it was this this is another thing that I like to just top on top of things I just like to put on something and just warm fresh cream and warm cashmere let's just go ahead and top that let's just go ahead and spread it on top but this is something I have been really loving and it's a perfect fall fragrance and last but not least something else that I have been enjoying so so much this is the midnight amber glow perfume so this is a little perfume pin I see now that they're not coming out with a full size I don't believe because we still have not seen it and this is actually my backup because I recently emptied out the other bottle that I had of this so yes spoiler alert i've already emptied this i told you guys i was gonna run through it i'm going through that body cream pretty quickly like i have been just really loving midnight amber glow i'm definitely giving me another perfume pen maybe a couple because this is so good to me i really enjoy it it's a nice caramel kind of milky latte type of scent with a hint of amber it's just the perfume smells different than the body care to me and I do see what people were talking about when they said you get a different thing with each form like this is definitely a little different than the body care but all in all this is a scent that I have been really enjoying for the fall especially the perfume I wish it wasn't so small because I'm an over sprayer and I tend to get through things pretty quickly if only I had a little bit more but I have been really enjoying this so so much those are all of my current favorite things my activities down all the way to my body care these are things that I have been really enjoying this fall season if you have any fall favorites let me know down in the comments so we can talk about it let me know like what shows are you watching because i'm always looking for new shows i always need to know what the girls are watching because i'm in the bed i'm eating you know popcorn i'm eating my chili i'm eating something nice and warm cozy i got my fuzzy socks on i just need to know so let me know in the comments you guys and if you want to see more content like this make sure you guys subscribe i love you so much and i'll see you in my next video bye guys